Welcome back to this project and we're working on project 8b and uh, we are going to use smart lines and offset commands. Now we're going to be drawing this gasket drawing and it's right up here. I'll click on it take a look at it. And you've probably seen this in the past. We've drawn it several times. And we're going to draw it again using MicroStation. So I'll throw this over here and put this one in here as well. And uh, I'm going to go in here and do a new file. Now this is standard inches. Uh, so just a new file. And I'll just call it CAD 298 gasket and save. So it's going to load up here and we'll get ready to draw this. Now um, most of uh, you students have had my class in AutoCAD and you remember polylines compared to a line. Now a polyline, it was when you clicked on one little segment the whole thing lit up. It was all connected together and joined together. And uh, in this we'll see that is what they consider a smart line in uh, MicroStation. So first I'll show you that but let's go ahead and do our settings. So I'll do File, Settings, File, Design File Settings, Working Units, this one's going to be Master Units in Inches, and then OK on that. The rest of everything should be fine. Save Settings. We're ready to draw this. Now, um, whenever we do a uh, line, here's a regular line. And come around like that. And you'll notice when I right click out of it and come up here to selection, you click on one, they're individual pieces and segments. When you do a smart line, we'll connect it together, come back up here and hit selection. You click on one piece of, of the uh, leg and it lights everything up. That is a smart line. And what you want to do with that uh, smart line is there's a lot of cool things you can do with it. Uh, like on this one, you'd have to make this a smart line so that you could offset it. And we're going to show you offset here in just a minute too. But uh, let me go in here and we'll start drawing this thing up. And I want to show you a couple other things to this. Now, again, a smart line, it's all one piece. Now, if you remember back in AutoCAD, you could use Explode to explode the pieces. In here, it's called Drop Elements. Over here in Groups, it's called Drop. Do you see that the little light bulb? Click on that. Make sure your line, strings, and shapes is on there. Come over here and click on it. And do you all see now how that, that exploded it? So Drop Element is the same thing as what you're used to in, with Explode. Now if you want to tie this back together as a smart line, just like a polyline, just come over here to groups and you've got what's called a create complex chain. And just use the manual method, it means you're going to click them manually here, just like that. Right click, it should have got it. Let's go up here to element selection. It's only got those two, so if you, I missed the third one. So again, come in here and grab all of them. There we go. And now it looked like it did it. When I go to element selection, it grabbed them all. And again, if you want to get rid of that, you want to bust up in the segments, just drop. And they're exploded. So basically, let's draw this thing up. And I'm going to go up here to smart line. And I want to take off from here and come over one inch and then just get what I can get done. So let's click on here, just uh, I'll take off zero, zero, click. So there's my zero, zero, and I'm going to now come over one, click. I always put your left hand on the mouse, or on the uh, keyboard, and the right hand on the mouse, and that way it's easier. Just type it in, and then seven minus one will be six, click. As far as I can go right now, because um, I don't know where this ended. It just ties in tangent. Right click, go back to my smart line. There's that one inch piece and at that end point I'm going to come up, looks like 4.5. 
4.5 minus 2 be 2.5. Click. Come over 1. Click. Up 2. Click. Looks like a straight line that comes all the way over to 7.5. Click. And at this point, I want to put this, this is the center point right here, boom, center point for this uh, circle, which is a radius of 1.5. So come up here, place circle, center, diameter, 1.5, click, and that's not right. So 1.5, hit enter. Oh, wait, I've got on diameter, radius, now enter. That should make it better. That looks better. And click. Now, come back to your smart line. Click on this point. Come up here. And I want to be tangent. So I come down here to my uh, snaps. Tangent. Tangent that right in. Now let's trim this thing up a little bit. So come over here to um, trim, which is right here. I always use the one in the middle. It's the best. Just grab the whole thing, and now just come up here, start trimming everything up just like that. And there's a few other things we got to do here to this. Um, we need to go ahead and put our radiuses in. Uh, we got a couple of radiuses on the outside here, uh, and that's easy to do. We'll go in here and do that right now. And right here's your radius tool. And it's going to be a uh, circular fillet. Click on it. The radius is 0.75 from here to here. Easy. Um, 0.25 from here to here. And radius of 1 from here to here. So you can kind of see that starting to come together. I use my trim again. Use the center one's the best one. Just go up here and just uh, grab the whole thing and then come in here and just, you can actually click on it. You don't have to do a line with it. And uh, you can, you can use line if you like. Either way you want to do it. And there's that much of it. Now, remember they're individual pieces. I want to make this one a complete polyline, all of it put together, make it a smart line, I guess you might say, or joined, that would even be a better way to say it. And to do that, just come up here to Groups, Create Complex Chain manually, and just go around through here, start clicking on everything. Enter. Okay, right-click to enter. Click on your selection, and when you choose it, it also be chosen, so it's sweet. Now let's go in here and let's do us an offset on this thing, and it's wanting a uh, half inch offset, so we're just going to blow it up a little bit, make it easier to see. So now let's do an offset on it, and to do an offset, we have an offset tool. It's right here, manipulate. Here's a move parallel. This is the same as offset. So click on it. And there's one and a half inch. So 0.5. And if I click on it, see how it does that. Now make sure, and it just depends on which side you want to go on, but make sure you make a copy of it. And there's a couple of different ones. If I go to miter, looks fine. Original. You, when you do original, sometimes it does that stuff. So you're better off to do, um, we'll do a round, that'd be fine. And just look and see what it turns out like. And right there would be your gasket design and all your dimension. Now let's go in here if we want to dimension this thing, annotate. Um, we got to make sure a couple of things when we start to dimension. I always like to set my text up first. And to do that, I just click on here, do a new style. And uh, I'm just going to put... Let's put mechanical or something like that. It's easy to understand. Uh, text height would be an eighth of an inch. Okay. And save that one. Right-click on it and activate it. 
So this one's ready to go. Now come over here to do your dimensionings. And on this one, you're going to hit New, Create Style. I'll call it Mechanical as well. And uh, when we do this one, I'll save it. And I'm going to right-click. I'm going to activate it. Come over here to uh, Master Units. That's fine. I'll just use my working units. And all that looks great. My text would be Mechanical and looks good. All right, we're in good shape. So close out of that. And now, right before, before I start dimension, I can go ahead and dimension right now. Let's see what it looks like. It looks pretty good. But sometimes you go in there to dimension and it looks horrible. It's either too way too big or way too small. And uh, I'll show you how to fix some of that here. What I can do is come back up here and this little box here in primary, if you click on that, it's your models. And right here is the 2D Imperial design that we're doing. If you right click on that, you can go to properties and you can actually change um, your uh, scale. And we want this one to be full scale, one to one. But sometimes if you were to go in here and um, it was changed, let's say, you know, something crazy. Uh, let's go a little bit larger. Let's do like a one thirty second to one. And now you went here to annotate. You clicked on it. And you get something that looks like that. That's what I'm saying. Just make sure that you always go back in there and look at your properties here. When you go in here, click on that model, go to properties, and make sure that you've got the right scale for your drawing that you're going to use. And we decided to do full scale on this one. Looks the best. And now you'll notice my dimensions. They look really good. So just make sure that uh, make sure that you uh, you get this um, drawed out. And check your dimensions. Go all the way through it and make sure all of your dimensions look good. And you can use this right there, that dimension element. It's a really good tool to use. Um, you can grab that and pull it. It's, just, it's a little bit faster, but some of this you're going to have to use like your linear to be able to grab this to this. Uh, also, I'm going to hit linear again, there to there, bring it down, click it, there to there, click it, I don't need this one, and see it's going to, whenever you do it all at the same time, it's going to take the whole thing with you. So. We'll get a couple of them here, just this one to this one, and right-click to get out of the command. So just go through, check all your dimensions, make sure they are accurate. we got one more right here from here to here. From there to there, right click, and then I have an extra one to delete out there. So make sure that you go through, get everything accurate, and save that one and uh, submit it. And you'll have one more exercise that you'll have to do for this project 8B, uh, and um, it'll be posted for you. So if you need any help with it or having trouble, just let me know.